Hello everyone and welcome to the Practical Python series where we take a look at practical examples of Python scripts that you can create by yourself to help you learn and get better at Python. In this video I'm going to show you how you can make a simple file converter to convert video files into audio files. This is a very common task in video editing so it's a script that I use almost every day. So let's go ahead and get started. First, we need to install our pre-requirement, which is MoviePy. So if you don't have MoviePy already installed, then you need to get it installed. So the best way to do that is just to go pip install MoviePy. And this is going to go out and find the MoviePy module and install it. Now it does take a few minutes, so I'm just going to cut to the end here. All right, so MoviePy has installed. Let's go ahead and open the code editor. And I am, of course, using Visual Studio Code. And in my directory, I have two MP4 files. And these are going to be the files that I convert into MP3 files. So the first thing I need to do is create a new file. And I'm going to call it convert.py. Uh, the next thing I want to do is import the MoviePy module. And I actually just need the video file clip object from it. So I'm going to do that by going from moviepy.editor import video file clip. The next thing I'm going to do is import the module glob. And glob is very similar to the OS module where it can give you the list of files in your directory, but glob allows you to easily search the those files. So for example, we can easily find all the .mp4 files. So the first thing we want to do in our script is have a look at all the files in our directory, figure out which ones are mp4, and then convert them to mp3 files. So let's open up a Python window here. So I'm just going to clear the screen. I'll type Python, and I'm going to copy and paste these two lines right here. And this is going to be sort of our little playground where we develop the logic of our application. So the first thing we're going to do is glob dot glob, and then we're going to put in a search parameter here. And what I want to search for is mp4 files. So I want to go dot mp4, and I don't care what's at the start, so I'm going to put an asterisk there. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And you can see that it's returned me a list with two entries here, and they are the two mp4 files within my directory. So this is perfect. This is everything I want. The next thing I want to do is take this and convert it into a loop. So that's very simple to do. All you need to do is go for file in, and then we'll put in how we got this list here. And then we're going to go colon. And then on the new line, we're going to do a tab, and then we'll go print file. And there you can see it iterated through both file names. So this is a good loop. Let's go ahead and paste this into our script, and then just convert this into a space or tab or whatever you want. And if we run our script now, you can see it gives the same output. It just says the file names. Perfect. Okay, let's head back into the playground, and let's have a look at how MoviePie Editor can open these video clips and convert them to audio. So, if I type in file, I can see it has the last one in there. So let's use that file name to work with MoviePie. So if we go video clip, and then if we use the video file clip function that we imported earlier, and give it the name file, you can see that it returns an object. So the object that it returned is a moviepie.video object, and this object has a lot of different attributes on it. Let's have a look at what's there. So just so this displays better, I'm going to do something that I always do, and I'm going to go from pprint import pprint as pp. And basically this pretty prints the output and puts everything nicely in a line. I highly recommend using the pretty print module if you haven't already. So I have that ready. Now if I went dir video clip, you can see that it's not formatted nicely, but now if I go pp, and then within that pp go dir video clip, you can see that it displays much better, and it's showing me all the attributes of the video clip. So there's a lot of different options here. 
but at the very top I can see that it has an audio attribute. So that's going to be our audio. And then if we go into the actual audio, you can see that it has a function to write an audio file. So let's break this down a little bit and put it into our code. Basically, we want to load the video file. So let's load the video file here. The next thing we want to do for simplicity is name a variable audio clip and then just take our video clip audio portion. So we'll go audio clip equals video clip dot audio. And now within that audio clip, we want to go write underscore audio file. And then we're just going to call it test.mp3. Now let's run our script. And you can see that we have a new file named test.mp3 and it's going to be the audio from our last file. Now to fix this, we need to give this a unique name. So we're going to put the name of file, which will be ding.mp4 or sunny.mp4, but we want to change the file name to mp3, so we're going to take off the last three characters here. And now that we've taken off the last three characters, we want to add a string of dot of mp3. And let's go ahead and run it now. And when you run it, we can see that there's two new files here and they're named exactly the same as their mp4 counterpart. And if we open them up and pull it over, you can see that when we click them, they work. And it's that easy to create a file converter. I hope this video was helpful when learning Python. If you want to learn more about Python, please check out my other practical Python videos. Thanks so much for watching.